episode number eight. And we've been getting a, a great reaction. I want to thank y'all for the subs. And uh, we're making friends. And, 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 and you know, it, like, it just, it's, uh, it, 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 making really good material takes time. And, well, wait a minute. We got to keep this tunnel screen fresh. Stop looking at it. Today is August 10th, 2020. And uh, here's where we're at uh, today. Probably none of you need this. It's just I got a little bit obsessive compulsion, and uh, I just want to show you where I've been since I started the channel. Bottom right, that was when she said no more mukbangs. I did that one. The one off to the left of that, I did it. The one off to the left of that, I did it. That was uh, so one, two, three. My number four was her uh, next row up, uh, faking clinical depression. I'm not feeling so well. Uh, uh, number five, go back to the bottom row uh, when she had um, the chips are gone and easy beginner arm exercises. I took two of those into one of mine for five. Six was go up to the third row, uh, come in one from the left. That's her going to McDonald's. That was my number six. And then number seven, uh, go to the row down, go all the way to the right. That's where she had the New York fries. And where she was uh, squawking at folks for saying she didn't fake diabetes. All right, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's where we at. And this one here is number eight. And we're gonna take care of um, a little bit of the previous one plus two more. We're gonna a little bit of the previous one plus two more. We're gonna do. I'm gonna catch you up, door. If you remember from the previous edition, uh, episode seven, there was, I said there was, there was a little material we'd take care of later. There's some unfinished business because. She was talking and talking and talking and repeating herself, and there was no way that I could put an end to the episode seven properly uh, on a high note. And so I said, you know, I, I just had to pick a spot, and uh, we we were done with that. And, and and now I'm gonna do this unfinished business. Here we go. It's just depressing to me. It honestly is. It depresses me more to think of it every single day that I get up. That okay, this is what I have to do. I have to just focus on that. And you could say, well, you should be doing other things as well. Well, it, it's very mentally and physically demanding, like, <laughs> to do that. Well, let me get this straight. She says it's very, not just physically and mentally demanding. She says it is very physically and mentally demanding to have to think about a diet. You know what's physically, mentally d demanding? I have to think about you're morbidly obese. Anything could go wrong at any moment. Or I guess you want to go to the hospital. I guess you want to leave the hospital in a wheelchair. And and uh, anyway, you just don't make any sense. Okay, go ahead and do this to yourself. Like I said in the other video, go for it. 450 pounds by the end of August 2020. It's physically demanding. Why don't you get a job? Why don't you get a job? That's just find out what physically, mentally demanding is. This stuff on a daily basis. So it pretty much takes up all of my time, like planning my meals and blah, blah, blah. What's the blah, blah, blah? What's the blah, blah, blah? What are you talking about? Are, are you talking about uh, browsing Amazon all day, finding more junk to send away for? Oh, you're severely depressed. Yeah, well, uh, people who are severely depressed do not uh, enjoy browsing Amazon and spending money and having fun buying stuff. Oh, uh, well, what's the rest? Netflix? People who have to work for a living do not binge watch one Netflix series after another. Oh, it takes up all your time. Blah, 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 blah. And uh, what, what's the other? Uh, getting high on Canadian marijuana because it's legal in Canada? And then you have cuddle time with cats, and you get out the camera, and you do, Are you beaten? Are you beaten? Oh, yes, you're beaten, and you know it's true. <laughs> Holy Toledo! <laughs> it takes up all your time to make up a little list. <laughs> it takes ten minutes. Oh, I have to plan my meals, and blah, blah, blah. And just trying to think of food, like, I don't even really want to eat. You know, like, honest to God, I think I have stevia poisoning. Like, I can't stand it. Like, just the little taste of it makes me want to puke. Like, erythritol, too. Like, fake sweeteners. Um, the aftertaste is horrid. Like, I just... No. The only disorder that Shannon will have is I refuse to grow up itis. And that is it. And she gets to indulge herself in it with no harm because she's found a magical way to have an income without working. Some of you may remember, I don't know how long, was it more than a year, maybe two years, uh, when her doctor made a, a, a special uh, diet for her. Like, they're all the same, in a way. Like, you know, all them diet companies, they say, you can do whatever you want and eat delicious pizza and fried chicken. Yeah, of course, you just can't have a lot of it. So... She worked with a doctor, Canadian doctor, paid for by the taxpayer, socialized medicine, and, you know, in, inserted into that diet all the things that she likes as special, and did work on it, gave her the diet, and then she's like, 
just like she is there. Mm. No. No, I, I can't have everything that I want. No. So go ahead. Do 450 pounds by the end of August 2020. Do it. You idiot. You know, I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> I'd rather just have like real sugar, but less, like not every day. You know, it's not like I eat like I drink soda. <laughs> Mm. I drink water all day. You know, it's not like I eat like I drink soda. I drink water all day. You know, it's not like I eat like I drink soda. I drink water all day. You know, it's not like I eat like I drink soda. I drink water all day. You know, like I'm I'm not going to beat myself up like fuck that. How about fuck you? Chantel, you filthy mouthed little pig. And I mean that uh, figuratively speaking, as in regards to uh, the relations. And uh, little pig, no, you big pig. You're like a queen uh, of the pigs. Uh, oh, fuck that. I'm not going to beat myself up by what? Apologizing for lying? Uh, don't you think you should do the right thing? Fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck off. Get off, YouTube. You piece of garbage! I do have good habits. Um, just because you don't see them all. You don't- you, people think they know my life. You don't. We do know your life, Chantel. Just look at the way- she is so rude to her audience. And, 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 then, and then when she gets some reaction channels complained about her, she's like, I don't understand the hate! It's all hate! Meanwhile, she can spit in the face of her audience and that's okay that's fine anyway getting back to what i was saying earlier yes very much so we do know your life because you've made way too many videos for way too long for us not to know that's the same way you like a like a detective can know what's going on without without getting everything because you've already given away too much but you make a fool of yourself on a regular basis you're bananas if you think that you're being cool we feel embarrassed for you. If you make videos where you say, Oh, I was in the middle of... Well, I I'll use more polite language. I was in the middle of uh, uh, the, the act with uh, my lover, and then he had to grab a wad of toilet paper out of the crack of my ass and uh, pull it out right while we were doing it because I hadn't bathed properly. Tee hee hee And it, it just recently you said when you were doing it with BB, you farted on him. That man's from Africa. He's a very proud man. And there you are on the internet saying, I fart on him while we're doing it. And it's it's fine with him. You do stuff like that. You got no family that you care about. You got no friends. You got no respect for yourself. You're a clown. You have no plans for anything you want to do in life. And you just want to be a sloth. And a dirty little girl. And an idiot and a fool. <laughs> we do know your life. You're just here for the money. You don't have any friends show over there with you on all the videos you make. So many videos. It's just you. It was Pete's for a while. You push the cats into them because nobody else wants to be with you. And 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 uh, there was BB was barely there. And now it's you and Pete's and the cats. Yeah, we do know your life. It ain't nothing special. It's no accomplishes accomplishment. Sorry for us to figure that one out. However, <laughs> you would say, oh, we don't know your life. Yeah, we do. You, you, you can read you real easy because you're real simple and you're ridiculous too. You don't know my life. Um, yeah, I have a lot of great friends. I have awesome family that I spend a lot of time with. Um, and it's just like, I'm just, I don't know why I always have to feel like I need to explain myself. It's just ridiculous at this point. I'm just going to stop doing it. Um, but I do have good habits. I drink a lot of water. She is lying. She's lying. Of course, most of you figured that out already. Just if you want to hear it from me, she's lying. All right? All right. She's lying. Got it? Good. Great. Um, I take care of my skin very well. 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 I take care of my hygiene my like that way. Then why is your hair greasy? more than half the time you're on camera or pulled back that's because you don't bathe girl you've gotten into a very bad habit because you don't have to work you don't have to leave the house you order everything in for the food you don't bathe you lie you lie um 
I clean my house. I take care of my household. You are really funny. Oh, I, 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 I'm so overwhelmed. I, I clean the house. I clean my household. What, I, what household you got? You and that pushover Pete's and the cats. You know what the cats get? You go to the grocery store and you get a big bag of dry kibble, whatever it is, and say, there you go, cats. They're not like human beings to say, I want this, I want that, I want this. You know, oh, you got such responsibilities. It ain't difficult to take care of a couple of cats. And Pete is not a demanding person. Obviously, he's not a demanding person. And there's cat muck all over your counter, too. You know, like, my responsibilities, uh, health-wise, appointments and stuff like that. Chantel keeps her appointments uh, for the doctor and the dentist. Wow, isn't that something? So does a six-year-old child in school. Woo! Uh, Chantel, you do, you do, no, you don't do so much. You do too much. You do too much. Um, take care of family members who need it. Because we know your personality, it is getting real easy to reply to a lot of your BS. Which is just to simply say, you're lying. You lie! So... I'm just gonna stop defending myself. Think what you want. Like I said, the Karens. That's what that's what it reminds me of. These people who just like ruminate over my life all day, like Karens, like mega mecha Karens. Boy, have you got that one wrong? <laughs> look, look at look at look at the look on her face. Just giggling to herself. I'm so important, everyone. <laughs> everyone just uh, being a Karen, yakking about me. Blah, 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 shouldn't tell. Blah, 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 shouldn't tell. All those losers. <laughs> we do not care. You got that? If we had our way for faking clinical depression and for faking diabetes, you despicable excuse for a human being, we would prefer you to be demonetized and off YouTube. Because if you were demonetized, you wouldn't be showing up to make any videos. Because your attitude about everything is, screw it all. Chantel come first. Most of us here, if we didn't get this, these channels in our suggestions, most of us here are former fans of yours. Because we're good people. We, we, we got a, we, 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 we got some feeling for someone that looks like, oh look, she's trying to lose weight. Uh, well, she's struggling. And then, you see, this is how it gets revealed. People say it's a cycle, and in a way it is, in a way it isn't. You see, Chantel has to get her money. So she must come back again and again and again and again, and she must make the videos. And she's made so many that now we can tell she ain't interested in losing weight. And it's really the truth, because every month she gets heavier. That's the only thing that's happening here. So it's just false drama to make money. She don't care. She's satisfied. She's she's been retired at the age of thirty two. She's given up. That's fine. She's got what she wants. So Chantel, if you watch this, we don't care anymore. We used to. And I'll say it again, just for the sake of, sh of shits and giggles. Go get a treadmill. Use it a little bit every day. Aside from that, we don't care if you die this afternoon, okay? So we're not the losers, you are. And as long as you're gonna be on YouTube, well <laughs> we might as well have a party making fun of you. Because you can't take any comments. Oh, I'm going to keep my comments turned off. Go ahead, you little girl. Go ahead, you little child. People just be saying, well, what's up with you faking illnesses? And, and That's not right. Oh, huh? I don't want to hear about that. That's just hate. I, mean, I don't have to put up with all that hate. We're just here to laugh at you. Have a good time. And if you're going to be on YouTube making money, sooner or later we'll be making money on this channel too. <laughs> so, have fun, but... Um... Yeah, I'm turning my comments off for now because I just don't need to hear it. I've heard it all before. You're not telling me anything I don't know. That is the way we feel about you. Now, you being the wrong, trying to turn that on us and say, you know, I've heard it all from before from you people. No, Chantal, we've heard it all from you, right? Because we know by now that your channel is not real. It's just entertainment. It's just false drama created to make money. There's no weight loss happening. There's no failure of weight loss happening. There's no decision of you saying, I refuse to do a weight loss channel, I'm doing this. And then you have another fake breakdown. It's just false drama. The only thing that happens over time is you get heavier every month. So it is you that we've heard it all before. We can tell you're a liar by now. We can tell you lie. 
people listing my medical conditions like to point it out to me, to shame it to me. To shame you with it? That was back when we cared. Like, uh, we get it. Your, your, your channel is just entertainment. It, you know, there's been so many lies for so long. It's just a big uh, poop show. And at the end of the day, you walk away with, with a YouTube AdSense payment. And, like, even though it is entertainment, just create money. We're not going to lose sight of the fact that you are completely bananas. There would have been more dignity in your life if you never would have gotten heavy and just gone into porn. There would have been more dignity in that. Because at least porno actresses do not fake illnesses on YouTube for money. Nobody's trying to shame it with you. We're just trying to warn you. Now, you don't care? Fine. No warnings. Go ahead. Drop dead this afternoon. Go, go for 450 pounds this month. Like, I'm aware of my medical conditions, okay? And if you are aware of them, why do you continue to expose your body's major support systems to being more than 400 pounds? And guess what? We don't care anymore. It's someone, gosh, she says, oh yeah, I've heard all your complaints. Oh, oh, you're, you're, you're in a very dangerous spot here. And, uh, well, why do you make it worse? You know what? I don't give a dang anymore. As long as you're making thousands of dollars a month and you want to be gaslighting and lying to your audience, I'm not part of your audience except for bringing the footage over here and reacting to it. We're just going to have a party here. We don't care about you anymore. And just because I'm not working on myself the way you want me to doesn't mean I'm not going to. So The rudeness towards your own audience is just too much. Hey, just because I'm not doing it the way you want me to doesn't mean that I'm not going to do it. Mm, let me th uh, let me th give me one moment. Uh, let me think. Diet and exercise. Uh, you got to take a little exercise. And you got to change your diet. And so I'm not going to do it the way you say you'd want me to. That doesn't mean I'm not doing it. You know, you're crazy. And there are more important things for us to bring our attention to in our work and our energy than wondering what, what is Chantel going to do next. We don't care. You're just good laugh now. That is all, clown. Yeah. Anyways, um, that's that. But yeah, the minute things open up and I'm able to travel, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Like, I'm traveling. What a delicate flower of feminine loveliness you are, Chantel. I'm getting the fuck out of here. I'm getting the fuck out of here. With the money you get from YouTube, thousands of dollars every month. If people want to check on that, you go to a website called Social Blade, and that gives you an accurate estimate. Uh, the money the folks get is in the in the middle range there. Anyway, so you can you decided you will do this, and you decided you will do that, all without having to work for it. You deserve to be properly reacted to, and you're going to get plenty of it here. It's going to happen well and often. And I want to do those those kind of vlogs. And yes, even at, like, you know, I'm going to say I'm still going to work on myself, but even at a higher weight, I'm not going to wait around anymore, you know? Like, whatever. So, I'll find a way. Where there's a will, there's a way. A way to have a decent income without working for it, you mean? Well, I hope that more and more people give up on your channel and your little income goes down. And more and more people come to the Reaction Channel community. Because that's where it should be. This, this is where the fun is. Because you're hopeless. I'm going to turn my comments. Go ahead, turn your comments off. Plenty of comments here. Anybody here wants to comment? Go ahead and do so. <laughs> okay, guys. So, um, yeah. Do you guys understand now how I could not have ended the uh, previous episode with this footage? It's like six times she's like, well, and that's all. And well, and uh, that's it. And learn how to talk, Chantal. And she's still not done. Thanks for listening to me. And I will see you. Anyways, guys, I think I've ranted enough. And that's going to be the end of it. Um, going forward, I'm just going to keep my comments and likes off for now and for a good bit while I um, get some consistency back in my channel and um, 
go from there. So, oh yes, you're reasoning. You know it's true. All right, guys. Hi, Sam. I will um, see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Sam, come here, Sam. Chantel say, I clean my house. I clean my household. I got responsibilities. I got duties. Yeah, and uh, you do s such a bad job of it that there's cat muck all over your food and you eat it too. Now be a good girl. Go on. Call that cat up there to your kitchen island, you freak. Here's him. Oh, what were you doing beezing like that? Sam is saying to himself, I can't believe that you ate that. Look what I did to it, and you ate it anyway. What a pig you are. I mean, Chantel, if you were rolling around in my litter box, and you left your fuzz hanging around on my cat food, I, I wouldn't eat it. I'd starve for a couple of days. You ain't no lady. Really, you should have taken all that thrown in the garbage. Whew. You are disgusting, Chantel. I mean, really. What were you doing, beezing like this? Big, 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 big. Okay, goodbye for real. That was after about six boring attempts. That's it. I'm leaving my comments off. I'm leaving my comments off. Good riddance. Dang. All right. Uh, the next one we got is Red Lobster. And, um, uh, uh, this is great because it allows me to, to, to uh, get a couple birds with one stone. Uh, because the Red Lobster, there's nothing really, f well, you guys already saw the best part at the start, right? And aside from that, uh, there isn't much funny about it. She just shovels all that expensive food into her face and talks about her French lover. It, 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 I already gave you the best part. Uh, there is, um, one little story that she puts in there. We're gonna do that. And uh, anyway, let's just uh, let's just do the footage of her setting it up, right? Do that. We're gonna unpack this. And look at this spread. Now hold it right there, because I'm I, I'm I'm gonna give you the the, the story on everything she's got there, right? Um, now before I do, uh, I, I, I just wonder, you know, I mean, let's just be real here. Is that not sad that somebody that puts so little effort in gets so richly rewarded in life? That is a big expensive meal. She just don't deserve it. Uh, and, and, and if you feel the same way, slide to the bottom right to Chantel's angry mug. And hit that button for the subscribe. Because that's the way the YouTube computer system uh, makes the suggestions. You get a lot of subscriptions. That's like a lot of votes of saying this is a good channel. And it gets in the suggestions. And the channel gets gets it gets strong. Bottom right. Chantel's in your mug. Just click it. Oh, somebody else do. Yo, you do it. Come on. Come on. Right. Now, uh, here's a little story. That, 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 that is halfway funny. So we're we gonna do that now. It's from Chantel, of course. Here we go. <laughs> I, I think I'm figuring out, I'm like the type of person who like, if I have to choose over like, feast and famine would probably be my favorite because honestly having one big feast and then like instead, uh, for me, I hate, hate, it's so boring eating like little sensible meals of like you know like egg whites and veggies chicken and veggies blah blah, blah and veggies blah, blah, veg uh. <laughs> eating like a normal healthy person but you know so this is one hell of a feast But I have my feast and then I'm like full, you know, instead of eating something small and then eating, constantly having to think about food all day, like, what am I going to have now? I'm gonna have, you know, that's just me, you know, so 
but I just noticed that like there are some people who are so stupid they are beyond stupid they're like super power of stupid and if you make a mistake of listening to them even for a little while you get damaged by them even though you didn't attend and Chantal is one of those people Fortunately, we have built up an immunity to what she brings here. And we can, like, take it apart. So what Chantel demands is she wants Thanksgiving dinner with every meal she can get her hands on. And she resents it. She's angry that she can't feast every time she has a meal. And if you think that way, you balloon up to more than 400 pounds. And you keep getting bigger. Heading on to about 600 pounds and then keeling over. So, so she has admitted for us, finally, completely. That she hates those little meals. Like the next time you see her trying to do a diet, oh, uh, th this is this is very satisfying. Uh, I plan. It. She hates it all. And even though she's more than four hundred pounds, and could keel over at any moment, carrying all that weight, she doesn't care. She's like, well, I I, I want to feast all the time. Okay, somebody like this, this childish, this self indulgent, they're just there to be reacted to. She's getting her share. By thousands of dollars of AdSense money, and for us, we get to react to her and have fun with this channel. Now, we are going to go through everything she's got there and more. Because you'll notice she's using both hands to hold the table, and the table full. Alright, starting from the bottom right, and then we're going to go clockwise around the whole thing. Them are cheddar biscuits. I just like saying it, it sounds good to say. Uh, then, of course, not just one, two things, a different sauce, what it is exactly, I can't remember. Moving right along, we have Walt's Favorite Shrimp. So they special, and they available in Canada and the United States. Moving along, there, there's, there, those are two lobster tails. And the first one that we get to is Maritime Lobster Tail. So that might be, that might be, that, that, that's right from Canada, for sure. And, and the other one is rock lobster tail. Maybe they had to import it for her. I don't know. She's got two lobster tails there. Maritime and rock. They are on a bed of linguine alfredo with real crab meat. And when she's devouring it, she says twice. This is the real crab meat, not the fake sort. And uh, one more uh, off to the top right. Them are scallops. And there's even more. She got two orders on the side of mashed potatoes. And an order of garlic butter. And here's the one. I'm leaving the best one for last. Well, I mean, I, I would I would dig the lobsters and everything else too. It's just, this, 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 I, I'll just tell you what it is. Seafood stuffed mushrooms. I love mushrooms. Seafood stuffed mushrooms. And I, I, I was checking out, um... Uh, Yabba's live stream a couple days ago. One of her people dialed it up and found out how much it all costs. That's $120 worth of food. Not including delivery. And maybe she might leave a tip. I don't know. Maybe she do because she wants fast service and she's always ordering. So it's $120 for the food alone. Sometimes folks... Life is not fair. I wish I had all that. Woo! Alright. All she do is eat it and talk about her French lover. And I gave you the best part at the start. That was all of the, the, the crab footage with the, the panda thing there. And uh, what, what does she do? She eats herself to exhaustion. So that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. And I love you guys. So now... She can go roll over to the couch, watch a couple of Netflix movies, roll back over to this, finish it off, roll herself to bed, and that is it. We are now going to move over to her Popeyes thing.
Is that good? I don't feel like editing today, okay? I know that's lazy, but oh, what a day I've had. Do you not love people who are so lazy they don't even want to put in the work to hide how lazy they are? Oh, I, 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 is that there? I, I don't want to do any editing today. Oh, I'm so lazy. I'm so tired. What a day. I ha what happened, Chantel? Did you have to leave the house to get cat food because Skip the Dishes wouldn't deliver from the grocery store? And then, you, you know, you, you had a Canadian weed pill and you had a nap and then you didn't get started as early as you thought. And now you don't know what. Oh, my God. I'm not going to complain about it, but I've just been... It's one of those days. For somebody who says she's not going to complain about it, she done already complained about it. What kind of a day you having, Chantel? You haven't had one of those types of days for about the last three years, as soon as the money started coming in. And, uh, you notice that, that TV tray she's using and putting on the steering wheel? It's not supposed to be up on top of it. That's supposed to be down. It's supposed to take the place of your lap. It's supposed to be a little bit more level. Uh, she's running out of room there. <laughs> She kind of looks like a character from a horror movie. Like, you know, it came from the sewer grates. <laughs> hey, was that, was you like that? Bottom right. Bottom right. Subscribe. Thank you. From hell. So hungry. So hungry. So hungry. So hungry. I should never let myself get this hungry because then I get angry and just like want to eat everything in sight. So if you get too hungry, you get angry and you want to eat everything in sight. So I guess we got to give you food all the time so you don't get hungry and don't get angry and eat everything in sight. Of course, if you're eating all the time to prevent yourself from getting too hungry so you get angry and eat everything in sight, then you have to be eating everything in sight to prevent that from happening then. Grilled chicken. So this is what this chicken sandwich looks like. It's got a big patty. <sighs> anyway, I waited forever for this because I got stuck between behind two cars that ordered buckets of chicken. I always get stuck behind the bucket chicken people. Even though Chantel lie on the daily her own personality that shows itself is so revolted it is somewhat entertaining from time to time there she is well over 400 pounds doing herself in with fast food and she's like oh with no job and an income from YouTube oh I get stuck behind the bucket people poor Chantel okay let's have some fries dip it in the ranch Petey bite Get in them fries, girl! Get in them good! This here is gonna look good engraved on your tombstones. Along with the side of ranch, too. Mm. You know, it's not like I eat, like, I drink soda. I drink water all day. You know? Mmm. <sighs> <laughs> was sliding down. <laughs> the sheer bulk of your weight is making you slide into your car while you're sitting there just stuffing yourself. Chantel, it is exercise time. Sliding down. <laughs> Creole. The Creole sauce is so good. Mm. You know, it's not like I eat like I drink soda. I drink water all day. Hmm. 
You know, it's not like I eat like, I drink soda. I drink water all day. <sighs> I'm so tired, like I couldn't even, <laughs> if I wanted to, do a video that would be like, require much effort. <laughs> when either a man or a woman, barely five foot tall, carries around 400 plus pounds, they're going to be tired all the time. And you know what the best antidote to, to, to that is? Eating french fries. Get it back to them. So. I need to stop ordering from Amazon. <laughs> every single day, there's a parcel out, out front of our door. Like, <laughs> every day. Um, it's just so easy to shop online. I ordered. What was that? Did she say she's ordering stuff off Amazon so much she's got to taper off? Spending money ordering things on Amazon? Really? I thought she was severely depressed. Well, it takes months to recover from an episode of clinical depression to say nothing of an episode of severe depression. Maybe Chantal was lying. Would she lie? For the rest of this video, she is just rambling. Rambling. This is what happens when you're always taking your Canadian weed. And, and you don't have to work. And you just sit around and eat. And everybody else is doing things. And you're just you're just making a pig of yourself. She just rambled. This one's going to fall off a cliff too. A chair. Like a super heavy duty folding chair. Goes up to like 500 pounds or something. <laughs> it's a big heavy duty chair. Um. Dream big, you fat pig. Laugh at it too. You are beyond hope. It's like, uh, I, uh, I'm getting bigger. I'm not gonna diet. I'm not gonna exercise. We just ordered a, cha a chair. <laughs> it goes up to 500 pounds. <laughs> really does. <laughs> Go ahead. Do it. We don't care anymore. Just as long as you're getting money, we want some money over here for a reaction channel. We gotta get this monetized. Come on. I don't feel normal. Maybe I should just accept that I'm not normal. I mean, I think I would just be so much happier. What does normal even mean? You know, what is normal? Everyone's trying to be normal. Seems like an elusive meaning. Anyway. You know, it's not like I eat like, I drink soda. I drink water all day. She just rambles for the rest of it. Like, even if you were a Chantal fan, this one is really rough. Like, notice the food's all gone, right? And, you know, she's just sitting there babbling, rambling. She even admits it a couple of times. It doesn't make it any more entertaining. So, uh, let, let's just, as I said, this one's going to go over a cliff. So let's just push it forward and, uh, uh, then I'm going to get on to another one. How do you like that? I was going to cook. Where am I going to have the time tonight, honestly? By the time I get home tonight? rambling you know just wanted to say hi to you guys you know I just hate everybody <laughs> everybody pisses me off I don't even know what I'm
I'm talking about anymore. <laughs> Thank you, Chantel. Thank you so very much for all that you do. For all the thousands of dollars of money from AdSense that you get each and every month. Woo! Right, so, uh, you can all thank me by sliding over bottom right hand corner. I, I, I feel a little exhausted just having produced that, right? I gotta go take a break every, every now and then for that. Woo! That was bad. I, I you know, if I would have. If I would have played you the footage of her just sitting there rambling and rambling and rambling, if you want to, you really want to, even though we recommend against it, you can go to her channel and you can check out that long ramble. It was terrible. It's terrible. I had to suffer through it. I, I, I did the dirty work for every one of you here at this channel. So slide down, slide down, bottom right hand corner, subscribe. That's how y'all say thank you to me. Thanks. All right. So uh, we are getting... Uh, Caught up quite good here. Uh, let's get on to uh, one more for this episode. First thing, uh, a thumbnail. Let's just zoom in a little bit here. Uh, what the heck kind of work is that? She took part of her own head off. And, uh, you know, if you want to do that uh, that bold white outline, uh, I don't know who, she, I hope she didn't pay anybody to do that. Probably she did that herself. Yeah. Anyway, lots of thumbnail, and, uh, the video itself is open and strong. Now, when I say that, I'm not saying, you know, that I, I dig what she's doing. I mean, I wrote her off because she lies, and because, especially, she fakes illnesses and doesn't apologize for it. So, when I say it's open and strong, it's like, if you were going to give her a chance, uh, the, the, the thumbnail's pretty good, the, the, the opener's pretty good, they, she got meatloaf there, it's looking pretty good, it just said... Once the video gets going, she's gonna disappoint you regularly. So, uh, let's get to it! Welcome back to another video, guys. Do you like my boho mirrors? I hope you do. They're decorations. My walls aren't so bare, except like half the house is still bare. So, today I have something special for you guys. I've been slaving away in the kitchen like a 1950s. Housewife. Really? Well, we remember June Cleaver as dressing just a little bit better than what you do, Chantel. Anyway, uh, what Chantel can wear is pretty limited given her size. So, uh, well, at least she's got a ton of lipstick on, and I can't tell if her hair is greasy mess or washed or not. She's got to pull back. Uh, she's she just a long way off from June Cleaver. I had to give props to June Cleaver. And we are going to go back in time to the 50s and eat like they did in the 1950s. And the 1950s, I guess it's going to be kind of stereotype kind of video because, you know, stereotypically you would hear that they have a, a well-balanced meal, you know, glass of milk, a slice of dessert. This idea was pretty good. I mean, I'm not saying like, you know, I, I like what she does. It's just like, you know, you want to do a 1950s era kind of thing. And uh, the, the reason why I'm running this is because she's going to wreck it uh, along down the line. And uh, I hate that, well, it's not that I'm giving her ideas, because she already did the 1950s thing, right? Uh, it would have been better in black and white. Here, check this, while she's being born and talking. Check this. And, you know, meatloaf or whatever. So I'm going to show you what a typical 50s meal would be like, or what we imagine it to be. Because, of course, I wasn't around in the 50s. Maybe... This introduction of hers is boring. Anyway, I just want to show you the black and white. And, uh, let's move on. Let's get to, let's get to. No cats would be on the counter in the 50s, Sam. It just came to me why them cats are always encouraged to go up on the island in the counter. Chantel's so heavy, she can't bend down to pick him up. That's it. Get into character. Same goes for you, Missy. Hey guys, hey, hey guys, hey, how are you, how are you? I'm gonna move, move you a bit closer. Okay, my kitchen is a friggin' mess. The moment that she says friggin', she ruined it. She didn't even had a bite of anything yet, and she already ruined it. So, <laughs> fail, typical um, 50s housewife. 
test right there. <laughs> All right, so let's get to, let's see what we have here. Um, just by Googling, like, like researching or whatever, what a kind of a typical meal was. I've seen some videos where, you know, they have like a little salad, probably not drenched in creamy cucumber dressing, but hey, and I'm sure the portions were a lot smaller for the women. I'm sure the man, this is like a man husband size. So, but I wear the pants in this family, bitch. No. Not only did she just ruin it again, yet that was real dis respectful to uh, Pete's. And what makes it even worse is that he is a pushover. Ah, uh, what a toxic couple these two make. All right, sorry. I'm trying to act proper. No. Um, so this is um, two slices of meatloaf, peas, which I don't even like, and some mashed, fluffy mashed potatoes with rich brown gravy, slice of um, confetti cake for dessert with French vanilla icing, and a glass of milk because... They always seem to drink milk. They think that very big on getting your calcium so you can grow up strong and join the army. I don't know. Like how she says, you grow up strong and join the army. I don't know. <laughs> it's like she's putting a, a, a half-assed effort into it already. You know, join the army. I don't know. World War II was already over by the 40s and she's doing 50s kind of thing. So let's have a bite of salad. Beauty bite. Before she even gets started, I just want to let y'all know, stick around, because she wipes out everything here. It, it you know, the housewife we, we learned more about her and more about her as the years went on and she started to rebel and she wasn't so happy with her life. Having to freshen up and look good for the husband or, you know, just basically just being a robot, you know, just Every day, same routine, taking care of the house, kids, and husband. No time to take care of herself. Well, I wonder how true that is, you know? They look conservative on the outside. But how many housewives do you think were wearing crotchless undies under those, under those skirts? <laughs> she had already ruined it. And now she destroyed it. It's like, you imagine like going by a channel, it's like it's 1950 style, and, and you go in there, it's like, well, you know, you didn't really do your hair up, and you're wearing a moo moo because you're more than 400 pounds, and okay, you got some heavy lipstick on, and at least you pulled your hair back, and you got some meatloaf there, and, 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 and you kind of said some things that were not quite proper, and, and now she's on to crotchless underwear. What a pig! What a pig she is. <laughs> For the milk boy. <laughs> that would totally be me. <laughs> oh, it's lunch hour. Look at the milkman. What an uninspired and uninspiring woman Chantel is. She's just a collection of appetites. Her mission is just sit around the house, enjoy this income from YouTube AdSense, eat, 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 and now she can't even finish a 1950s era themed sort of meal video without fantasizing about wearing crotchless panties, cheating on her husband, and going after the milkman. So disgusting. Her channel should be like age restricted. She should get like 10% of the money she is getting. And then a couple hours later, the Eggman's here. The pool boy. If this were the 50s, I'd be having story times like my milkman lover. <laughs> Her channel has 
has to be, if not the worst channel on YouTube today, then it has to be right up there with the top five. A woman who is lazy, has not worked for years, gets a decent income from YouTube AdSense, stuffing herself, being rude to her audience, faking illnesses, and sharing her filthy stories. If that's not the worst channel on YouTube today, then it has to be among the top five. Very sad. Yeah, I would not survive in the 50s as, <laughs> as a housewife, for sure, because isn't it like forbidden for women to like acknowledge that they have bodily functions? Like if you fart in front of your husband, you get served with divorce papers. <laughs> what is it with her and farts? I mean, like maybe if like, you know, one time here and at one time there she mentions farts. She mentions farts on a regular basis. I, I don't know. It's like, uh. He got something in the comments to make a suggestion. Uh, woo! They had instructional videos back then on how to be a lady or whatever. Maybe you should watch some of the instructional films. They also, by the way, had them for men, too, back in them day. And, like, you want to laugh at them? It's like, well, the quick way to do this is... And for the ladies, a great... I mean, it was not all bad. What you remind me of right now is Fred Flintstone. And and, and that I mean and, and that does a bit of a disservice to Fred Flintstone because Fred was just a big guy with a big appetite. He was not a slob, and he had a job, and he, and he was a good person too, a good cartoon person. Uh, uh, anyway, and like you are such an aggressive, uh, powerful slob of a pig, of an excuse for anybody with any dignity. That I mean, y y y if you were a man. You would be a, a powerful slob. That's how much of a slob that you have in you. Dang! Dang! Pete's is back. Now remember that this was supposed to be a real cute 1950s thing. And then Chantel ruined it. And then she destroyed it. Now she gonna bury it. Yeah, the cake is. I'm just put put a piece of cake for my video, but it's still cooling off, kind of. I have to ice, ice it. I said it before, with an earlier reaction. I'm gonna say it again. You might have had someone like this at your school when you were a kid. You might not. Chantel's the the dirty girl. I mean, she didn't come from uh, a poor family. She hasn't been abused. She's just crazy. And she'll pull her pants down and pull up her top for a handful of nickels from the neighborhood boys. And if Chantel could do that on YouTube right now, she would. And it's so pathetic. I mean, you get at a loss for words that, you know, she was just saying... That she was like severely depressed. I can't stand people that lie to others. And especially this one who lies to others and gets paid for it. Just revolting. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Pig. Are you going to say hi to the people? Bye people.
I apologize for her. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm acting like a '50s housewife today. How they ate. Oh, and did uh, did '50s housewives uh, belch words? <laughs> Do not forget, ladies and gentlemen, our Chantel is severely depressed. And she started taking the antidepressants. I mean, it takes weeks for just for them to to bring themselves up to the serum level, where it starts to work. You know, and and uh, I don't know. I, it looks like she's made an an instant recovery. Can you imagine what a puerile mind she has? It's not even halfway funny to begin with. He raises it again, and she loses it. <laughs> if they do, they get divorce papers. Right? Unless their husbands are cool. <laughs> but no husbands were cool in the 50s. <laughs> there goes Pete's again with his bitter, cynical sense of humor. Well, listen, Pete's. You are not the judge of anything cool because you are not cool. <laughs> Oh, I hope you guys. Sam. Did y'all see how comfortable that cat is? Jumping from the counter to the island? You know how much practice that took? The cat even made it his way there right through Chantal. Them cats are there all day. On the counter, on the island. They are there before they eat, after they eat. Chantel just ate. Cat dander, hair, pee, poo, whatever those animals have got on their pods or in the litter box. Pete's is gonna eat later, he's gonna eat it too. What a disgusting couple they are. Well, we just got one more note left on this 1950s thing. And uh, Chantel left us uh, a little something at the end of it. Here it is. Boy. Of course, that's uh, Chantel talking to her cat again. You know, big, big, boy, boy. And uh, when you do it for too long, and when you help yourself to some legal Canadian uh, weed pills, you find yourself turning to the camera going, boy, boy. I'm going to give it to you one more time. Boy. Just bugger off and go watch something else. We done! And, uh, that was a lot of work. And especially that last part. You know, we're like, like, if I gotta put put that little thing together and you get it for, like, half a minute, it's like, woo! Well, I had to, I had to go through it about five times. So have some pity for your servant here. Bottom right corner. Chantel's angry mug. Come on, subscribe. That's how we get the channel stronger. Come on, I'm just kind of, you know, waiting for you. I know some of you this before, and I asked you and didn't do it yet. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you.